Welcome back to the Essence of the Creator. My name is Yaakov Yitzchak, and in the spirit of the upcoming holiday, Passover, I will attempt to, hopefully, participate in ending this final exile. It's, we're, it's, we're taught that, from the Baal Shem Tov, that when the teachings of Chassidus, of the deeper aspects of Torah, spread out to the whole world, then immediately Mashiach will come. So all we have to do is spread the teachings of Torah to the whole world, and then we'll see what happens. I'm excited. Basically, there's a couple teachings, there's many teachings, but there's a couple teachings that I think are pretty vital for everyone to know about Chassidus. And they have logical reason, reasoning, but the first one is really based on because people like me believe it, be, mainly because the Lubavitcher Rebbe said it. But there's also logical explanations for why it makes sense. And that teaching is in a packet that the Lubavitcher Rebbe gave out in the year 57, 52, that talked about the importance of the building 770 Eastern Parkway. You may have heard of it. It's the Chabad World Headquarters. It's a big deal. It's been getting more popular all the time. And some people are wondering why it's getting more popular. It's all because of this packet that the Rebbe gave out. And in general, the teachings of the Baj Rebbe. But this, specifically, this packet. Which said that, basically, short story long, in the book of Yechezkel, Ezekiel, it says that the, after the first temple was destroyed, the first base of was destroyed a few thousand years ago, the people, of, the people were exiled, people of Israel were exiled outside of their land, and they were upset, maybe Hashem wouldn't be with them, so then Hashem, re- Hashem assured the people of Israel through the prophet Yechezkel that don't worry, even though they're exiled outside the land of Israel, but and even though the base of was destroyed, but says, it says that Hashem is still with them, in a similar way, way to how He was with them in the base of Mikdash. Like it says in Yechezkel, basically, Ezekiel, chapter 11, I'm looking at it something now about that. Chapter 11 that says that I'll be for them as, I'll, as a small sanctuary, a miniature sanctuary in the lands that they come there. Meaning that there's the synagogues that are in the lands of the exile have a similar revelation of the Creator's energy as the base of Mikdash. Even though the Creator is everywhere, etc. But it says there's certain places where the Creator's energy is like felt especially, essentially. And those, and that was mainly in the base of Mikdash in the Holy Temple. Even during the lands of the exile, in the time and place of the exile, it says the Shekhinah is still there, in the exile with the Jewish people. And in Yechezkel, there's even a whole vision of Yechezkel saying, like, the vision of this divine chariot with a bunch of angels that some people know about. So the whole, the whole point of that vision was to show that even in the place and time of the exile, that's where the Creator's energy is, with all the angels and everything. So that's generally in all of the synagogues that are found in exile, have that revelation. But specifically in the Talmud in Megillah, page 29, it, it, there's a discussion about where specifically the Shekhinah is. Even though it's in all the synagogues, but it still says that it's in certain synagogues in a greater sense than others. To the extent that it's even in one synagogue that's in a way that's greater than all the other synagogues, essentially. The point is, it's a very long proof that it's kind of hard to understand the first beginning part of it. But the reasoning is. The reason why people believe it is mainly just because it was said, but it's, it's also logically understood, and people can learn it, and if anyone has any specific questions, let me know. But the point is that there's many different levels of this small sanctuary. It says, I'll be up for them a small sanctuary in the, in the land of the exiles, in the land of the exiles, based on different proofs, it says there's different levels of the small sanctuary. Generally, all the synagogues are like small sanctuaries, and specifically, the synagogue, there's some synagogues that are a greater level of small sanctuaries than others, that have a greater revelation of the Creator's energy than others. And it says specifically, there's one unique synagogue at a time that is the place that has the main revelation of the Shekhinah. Not only as a small sanctuary, but even in the same way, so to speak, as the base of Mikdash. Really similar way. See, the language seems to say even in like the same way as it explained. So it said that, in generally, that unique place, so that unique place is based on the, the house of the leader of the generation, known as the Rebbe of the generation, because the house where like the Rebbe is, so to speak, is like the one where he, the instructions are given to the generation. And the place where the instructions are given out, that's the place where the Shekhinah is, because it says that one part of the base of Mikdash that had the Shekhinah in it, a very unique part, was the Sanhedrin, known as the Great Court, which is essentially a big court of 71 judges, which is the main foundation of like the Jewish court system. And the idea of justice, proper justice, is one of the foundations that the world stands on. And during the times of the Beis Mikdash, one of the main parts of the Beis Mikdash was that we had proper justice in the whole world. 
And the foundation for that justice system was this court of 71 judges that was in the base of Mikdash itself. And since they have the proper judgment, the, the legitimate justice, then the Shekhinah is with them through during the justice that they give. So that idea of like giving proper justice, is like instru- giving proper instructions, that's by the Sanhedrin. But it says a similar thing by every generation. It was like the leader of the generation gives pr- practical instructions to the generation. So that's a similar idea of the Sanhedrin. It's ex- this is all explained in the talk. That That's a similar idea of the Sanhedrin giving teachings. That when the Sanhedrin gives the, gives the legal teachings, for example, that's like the Shekhinah is with them when the proper justice judgment is passed. So, so too, it generally, when instruct, general instructions are given from a certain place, then that's the idea of the Shekhinah being there in a similar to w- way to how it was like in the Sanhedrin. So that's one reason for why the house of the Rebbe, so to speak, of the generation is a unique place, similar to the base of Mikdash. Not only is it a synagogue and a house of Torah study, which also have the revelation of the Shekhinah through the Torah and through davening and stuff, but it also has the added advantage of the place where the instructions go out to the people. That's one. And later on in the talk, it also mentioned that the main idea of the Shekhinah in the base of Mikdash, according to one way of looking at it, was the people of Yisrael, was that the Shekhinah is really in the people of Yisrael, in the Jewish people. But since the Jewish people all gather in the base of Mikdash, then that's like all the Jewish people, there's the commandments three times a year, they all go to the base of Mikdash. Since they're all in the base of Mikdash, that's the idea of the Shekhinah being in the base of Mikdash. You know, the place of the base of Mikdash also has a special thing, but it says that since the Jewish people are literally one with the Creator, so when the entire Jewish people are in the base of Mikdash, then that's the idea of, like, so to speak, the entire essence of the Creator's energy being manifested there. And, like it says, you shall make for me a Mikdash, make for me a sanctuary, and I'll dwell in them, which has some other symbol meanings, I think, to dwell in them, referring to all the different base of Mikdashes. But the... It, it's, it mentions in the Targum Unkelis in this commentary, who just tra- who translated the Torah into Aramaic. It says, "You shall build, make for me a mikdash, and then I will rest my Shekhinah, the divine energy of the Creator, among the people of Israel." So the point of the base mikdash is to have the Shekhinah in each and every one, and through having it each and in each and every one through one's own service, that also adds to the base mikdash. The point is that one of the advantages of the Shekhinah, the, the energy of the Creator, in the base mikdash in the Holy Temple, is because the Jewish people are in the Jewish, in the Holy Temple. And it's explained that the house of the Rebbe represents the entire Jewish people because it says every generation has one person who's fit to be Mashiach in each generation. And it says that's the leader of the generation. As it's explained, it says in the, it says in the verse, a prophecy about Mashiach, it says a star shall go out from Yaakov, etc. But, so what does that refer to? This is a prophecy about Mashiach said by Bilam, the non-Jewish prophet of the Torah, but it's one of the only prophecies in the five books of Moses that talk about Mashiach directly. So different parts of the Talmud say seemingly contradictory things what that means. A star shall go out from Yaakov. One person says that, or what one part of the Talmud says that it refers to Mashiach himself will come out from the people of Yaakov. And another place says that Mashiach within each and every person from the Yaakov will come out within, and that will bring the redemption also. So it says in some other commentary that the way to reconcile that is that really, one place says that it refers to Mashiach. Another place says that it refers to each and every Jewish person. So a reconciliation of that is that really in each and every Jewish person there's a spark of the soul of the Shiach that's within, which is called the Yechidah, the essence of the soul, which is connected to the general soul of the Shiach. The general soul of the Shiach is that which, the soul that includes all of the other miniature sparks of the Yechida that are found in each other specific Yid. And I was trying to think, I think it might also apply to even the Gentiles also and perhaps the whole world. The Yechida generally is the essence of the soul that's connected to the whole world. The point is that the house of the Rebbe is the house where the Rebbe has the general Yechida, the, the, the general soul that includes the entire Jewish people. And that idea of including the entire Jewish people is a similar revelation to the Beis Mikdash. So, as it's explained there, so the, 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 the house of the Rebbe is the place like similar to the base of Mikdash. And it says that, just like, it's similar to the Sanhedrin, it says the Sanhedrin was exiled to ten places, and also it says Chabad was exiled to ten places throughout Russia and Poland, etc., until it came to America. And it says that the place that the, that the Sanhedrin was exiled to last is the first place that, will, will, that they will be gathered. So similarly, it says that the place where the Shekhinah is exiled to last in America is the first place that will be revealed. So basically the base of Mikdash will descend from the heavens 2770 is in Parkway.